What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're going to be talking about JPA repository, the repository pattern and in tiered architecture. So in our previous video, we went and we stubbed out some controller endpoints, meaning that we have endpoints, we have the ability for our API to actually receive data, but the data doesn't actually go anywhere. It doesn't go to any services and it doesn't have any repository. So the first place that you probably want to start working on is your repository because it's the first doorway into the database, so to speak. This, this repository class that we're about to make is the closest part to your database and it's where you're going to perform actual just straight CRUD actions on your database. If you had to give a name between the difference between a repository and a service, a repository is literally just for touching the database, so to speak. It's where you create, you read, you update, delete, and you don't do anything else. In certain architectures, people actually put CRUD actions in uh, services, but in N-tiered architecture, all of that is supposed to be in this repository class that we are just about to make. And luckily for you guys, ORMs have, have advanced to the point where we don't have to do hardly anything. This is all that you have to do in order to actually set up a repository. And once you actually set this up, you will get access to all of this and more. You get access to all of these great methods directly built into JPA to quickly access your database. You don't have to write like any of this. And this is super, super powerful. You cannot underestimate how powerful uh, just this JPA repository is and how much it will allow you to do once you can finally get it set up with your actual uh, API. So another important thing to realize is that this JPA repository interface that we are about to use inherits paging and sorting, and it also um, inherits from CRUD repository too. So as it's named, you get all the CRUD repository actions and you also get paging and sorting as well too. Also, it's kind of a fun fact because that's something you could get asked on an interview question. So I would uh, highly recommend to re recommend that. Okay, so now let's actually go into IntelliJ and let's create this repository folder. So first thing that you want to do, you want to go in, you want to go to new, you want to go to package, and then you want to type in repository. Okay, that's just going to create a folder for us. And the next thing that you want to do is you want to type in Pokemon repository. Repository. And you want to create an interface, not a class. But if you did make a class, you can quickly change it just by changing the name. So we go in here, we go extends because it's an interface and we're going to type in JPA repository. So first thing is you want to input inside the generic brackets, sometimes called the alligator brackets. You want to put the name of the entity that is for the actual repository. So in this case, it's a Pokemon repository. We want to, um, manipulate the actual Pokemon table, and we're going to put that Pokemon entity inside of there. So the second is going to be, you want to put the actual value that is for the long. So in this case, I've got an integer for the primary key. Probably would be better as a long, but uh, a long is just going to make sure that you have more numbers, but I put an integer there. And whenever you actually put the um, value in there, you can't just put int like this. It has to actually be the class specification. So it cannot be, it has to actually be the type specification. It can't just be the lowercase int. It has to actually be this. And that goes for longs too. If you want to make it long, that's perfectly fine as well. Just make sure that it's the capitalized version and not this version right here. Otherwise you're probably going to get errors. So go in here, I'm going to go ahead, bring this in looking good and we should be good to go. Yep, and that's our repository. Pretty simple. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.